Hello, my name is Benji and welcome to my channel. I talk about plants and yeah, I pretty much talk about plants. Um, so the topic of today's video is going to be on grow lights, my grow lights and my grow light setup. I'm not really gonna go into like the science behind grow lights and like the efficacy and how to choose one because to be honest, I do not really no, there's a lot that goes into the science behind them and it is a little bit complicated for me. There's things like PAR, um, PPFD, PPF, Spectrum, all those things. So what I do is I just listen to people that I trust who have shown results with the grow lights and I go off their recommendations. All of my plants in my bedroom pretty much only grow or only receive light from my grow lights. This is because I have a north facing window that is also shaded so I get like almost no natural light in my bedroom. And because of that I would say that my plants are grown 100% on grow lights. I'm just gonna take you guys around my room and show you what grow lights I use and how I set them up and what I like and what I don't like. And I will start from my cheapest grow lights going to my more expensive ones. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first we're gonna start in this corner. This corner has GE grow lights and then it also has this non-branded tri-head LED. So this lamp contains the first grow light. This is a GE 10 watt grow light. And I believe it's only like $12 and it's pretty bright. It's not amazing, but I would say you could probably grow like one to three plants under it. I just use it to kind of provide an extra little bit of light. I just have this lamp that I really like. So I just decided to put a grow light in it. So these two lights here that I have suspended are also GE grow lights, but they're more expensive. They are 32 watt LED bulbs and they cost $24. I would say that these ones work really well. They're super bright. It actually burned one of the leaves on my fiddle leaf fig ones because it was too close. So these I would say are a really good purchase for how much they cost. I, I would say they're pretty similar to the Soltec light, just a lot cheaper and not as fancy looking. And so yeah, I've been growing my Florida Beauty under it and my Philodendron Gloriosum. Yeah, a lot of my uncommon rare uh, velvet leaf aeroids. Generally, you probably can't put them into a regular lamp because the wattage is too high. So you need something like this or like a lighting fixture that can handle like a high wattage. So how we suspended these is I used this tension rod that was actually made for hanging plants. Like you're supposed to hang plants from there. But I just hung the lights. I bought this separately. I'll link it down below. I think the two were like less than $10. Um, and yeah, so I just screwed them onto these things and then I twisted them around on the hanger. And yeah, I just have them plugged in and they're hanging like that. You'll see that I DIY'd a lot of these hanging things cause I'm in a rental and I can't just like make holes in the ceiling. Okay, so the only thing that I dislike about these GE bulbs is that the color temperature of the light is a little bit more blue than I would like it. Like it's a little bit pinkish blue and I really prefer like a warm white. I think it just looks nicer in like a bedroom. So yeah, that's like my only gripe about it. But other than that, it works really well and it doesn't look bad. It just doesn't match like the rest of my lights. So this Trihead LED costs about $25. What I like about it is that it's really easy to put anywhere. Um, it's really adjustable so you can pretty much put it on any like shelf or table that you have. And I also like that it has three bendable lights so you can kind of maneuver it to where you need light. The only thing I would say is that it's not very attractive. It's pretty bright, it's worth the money, and a great beginner grow light if you want to like grow some plants in a really dark area, but it's not very pretty to be honest. But I would generally recommend it for like utility, cost effectiveness, and like brightness pretty much. <laughs> So this next light is $16, so I didn't really go in the order that I said I would. So I can't remember exactly what this one is called, but it's just like an LED panel of lights and the light is really warm. I'm growing my sphagnum moss with my variegated string of hearts. Um, I think I'll do a video on how to grow live sphagnum moss from dried moss. Super cool, I love how it looks. 
Okay, let's get back to the light. This light is $16 and it's actually pretty strong. Obviously you can see I'm getting some pretty good growth for my string of hearts and my moss. I'm also using it for one of my rubber plants. So what I did was I used zip ties and I pretty much just stuck them through like these holes. It has holes like this right here. And then I just tied it around um, this part of my shelf. And yeah, I just did it for this other corner too. It's super yellow, so if you don't like that yellow color, then I wouldn't really recommend it. So the next light that I have that I use a lot of is called um, the Monios 2 feet, 2 foot LED. I have a few of them. They cost about $70 for six of them, so that comes out to like $12 per light or so. Yeah, they're probably one of like the most popular LED lights that people use and they work really well and they are easy to use and they can also attach. For example, this one is connected to this one and this one is connected to this one. They're all on the same outlet, which is really nice and makes it a lot easier to set up because you don't have to worry about so many outlets. I kind of have these lights sort of everywhere. So the way I mount these is kind of funny. I'm using adhesive hooks, but I actually would not recommend these ones because these are only one pound hooks. I have had a problem with them falling off before, just one time and it hasn't happened again. So if you want to hang your lights like this, I'd recommend that you use a stronger adhesive hook. I know that they have them available on Amazon that can hold up to like 15 pounds. So if you use that, that should be fine. These lights also come with self-adhesive strips that you can like attach onto the light and then attach onto whatever surface but i really would not recommend those because they do fall like i have not met someone who's used them for a, an extended period of time and had them not fall so i really really recommend that you do not use those so i have this shelf that has like this metal grid so what i did was i used what it already comes with these like little clips and this hook and then i just zip tied it to the shelf and then i use it to light all of my like little propagations and stuff. All of these have been growing under these two lights and they work really well, as you can see. Over here, I did something kind of funky. Like the other ones, I have these self-adhesive hooks, but then I use twine to suspend it downwards to get closer to the plants on my shelf. So yeah, you guys gotta get kind of creative when you're trying to hang your lights um, in a rented space. So the last grow light I use is called a Fluence Ray 44. This is definitely my most expensive light. It's around $200. One of my favorite YouTubers slash like bloggers who goes by here but not on um, YouTube and Instagram and on his blog post. He uses this light and recommends it and so far I really like it. This is where I kind of grow like a lot of my favorite plants. My dad did this for me. This is a folding table that he drilled holes in and then used like these metal bars and then bent them to create a hanging bar for my lights. I do recommend this light, it's super bright. It covers a really large area and it is very attractive, which I enjoy. So like the other ones, I suspended it with zip ties. The good thing about this light is that it's super light, so you could probably even hang it from like a curtain rod or something. My plants are growing on grow lights and they're all looking extremely happy. Um, yeah, so I recommend these. And also a lot of people ask what grow light I give my Monstera, and it is just this Monios light. I will leave links for all of the lights in the description below. If you have any questions, like always, leave them in the comments and I will do my best to respond to them. I really do try to respond to every single comment, um, but sometimes I don't really know it does how to respond. So if you ask like a really direct question, I will more than likely answer you. Oh, also I just want to say that like a few videos ago, I was talking about how I almost had 3000 subscribers and now I have over 6,000, which is super crazy. Um, and I really appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who leaves like really nice comments because you guys are seriously like super sweet and it really makes my day when I see those. So thank you for watching my videos and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.